morning. Welcome back to the MasterMindInc.net YouTube channel where the 57 through 60 Cadillacs are the star of the show. Today, for your entertainment, we have um, the copper air suspension lines for 57 through 60 Cadillac air suspension systems. Um, these are all made exactly like the OEM parts. It's a one-piece one construction. And uh, they're all you know, pre-bent and individually numbered. They come with very detailed instructions on how to uh, install them and so forth. You know, what, what ports they fit in and so forth. Uh, so, you know, even a novice can do this very easily uh, with, uh, with my instructions. Um, we even made the exact, you know, the exact ends. I don't know if you can show them up on camera, but you can see the, the ends for, are, they're swedged in one piece like that. And then we even made the ones for the 57, 58 El Dorado Brome air domes with the little points on them to depress the fin valves and the domes. Uh, this is brome only though, that end. Um, and uh, these, so these sets 57 EB01006, you'll see in the foreground that's a 15, no I'm sorry, in the far distance, in the, uh, uh, that's a 15 piece set for 57, 58 El Dorado brome only. Uh, here in the middle you'll see a 5 piece set, that's for 1960 only. And here in the foreground, you'll see a 10-piece set, uh, 59 only. Um, yeah, 59 only. Sometimes you'll see those on late, the five-piece sets on late 59, but it's rare. Uh, and, uh, you know, so when you have a 10-piece a set, you'll have a four-piece copper, air, uh, four-piece plastic airline set to go with it. When you have a five-piece set on a 60, you'll have a nine-piece plastic airline set to go with it. On a Brome, it doesn't take any uh, plastic airlines all uh, copper like this. And the same goes for 58 Cadillac, not a non-brome Cadillac. It's not shown here, uh, but that, that takes all copper airlines, no plastic. Okay, so um, when, when I, whenever I'm working on, I don't do too much work on cars any longer for, for customers, but when I did, uh, I would never do an air suspension system without changing these lines. I mean, the way I do it, I do everything or nothing. So I know a lot of people are always you know, trying to jury rig it and fix one valve and leave the old lines and use one old airbag and that that doesn't fly with me. Uh, the only way I do this is if the customer allows me to do the whole thing and do it right and this way it's trouble free and you know, uh, I don't have to spend crazy amounts of time diagnosing uh, things. So what I do is I rebuild everything on the bench, I bench test everything on the bench, I put everything brand new and then everything's individually tested and then everything goes together as an assembly and usually there's no problems and if there is a problem it's real easy to find but if you have a lot of mix of new stuff and old stuff it's a nightmare so uh, and the reason I don't uh, use these old copper lines well first of all they're ugly as sin um, and you can see you know they're all uh, I don't know if you can see them but you know, I mean, you can clean them up and make them shiny and everything, but you're going to still, and a lot of times the nuts freeze to the tubing and then the tubing twists, but you can see the nuts are all rusty and, you know, they're just, they're ugly. And, and they're brittle as hell. So you can see, watch, I'll bend this. Look. Boom. Twice. Back and forth. That's right. I'll do it again. Here's one that has no fatigue on it anywhere. Bend it. It, you bend it once one way, once the other way, breaks in half. Uh, by contrast, you can take this new tubing and bend it, you know, 20 times, and it won't do that, you know. So, uh, it's, uh, this is just too old and brittle, and uh, they're prone to leaks. And a lot of times people will, uh, you know, they'll try to repair them, or they'll try to jury rig them, or whatever, but anyway, Using the old lines can work, but I never do it because I don't want to, I don't, it adds too many variables to the mix. So my, the key to success with air suspension is to uh, leave nothing to chance. And so by doing everything, you know, uh, you know, that eliminates a lot of potential problems and uh, makes the job a lot easier. Um, and also, uh, the reason I won't do it in my shop is because a lot of people try to do this and they try to use the old copper lines um, and then they wind up spending twice what the copper lines cost on labor for guys trying to troubleshoot a, a system 
where they've not rebuilt the entire system. So you can wind up spending more money trying to save money. So I don't even go there. I just do the whole thing and do it right to begin with. And, uh, you know, anyone who's ever tried to sort out leaks in an air suspension system knows uh, the, the less uh, potential leak points, the better. <laughs> so uh, in addition, if you're trying to do a 100-point restoration, um, which is what I prefer to do if I'm going to do anything at all, um, I want it to look like brand new. I don't want to, you know, like take an old piece of junk like this and shine it up and leave rusty nuts and things. And the thing is, if you have a line like this and it's all in one piece, the only way, even if you wanted to replate the nuts, you'd have to bend the lines to get them off. You'd have to cut the lines and then take them off and plate them, put them back on. And then now you have scrap metal because, you know, then you wind up with a plumbing fitting trying to connect it. And it's just ridiculous. It's a total waste of time trying to use these old lines. Uh, it's impossible to replate the nuts, you know, and you, so you can't get a, uh, you can't get a hundred point job trying to use the old lines, it's impossible, which is what prompted me to make these because I was doing a full on restoration and this was hopeless. So um, anyway, any, any potential uh, repairs like plumbing fittings on this and everything's going to fail anyway. So uh, I've seen all kinds of plumbing fittings and people trying to use pipe fittings and all kinds of nonsense to try to fix these lines. And, uh, you know, because if you try to use old copper, it's too hard. It won't seal. If you put a, a plumbing fitting on it and try to crimp it on, it won't seal because the new fitting has soft brass and copper and the old fitting, the old piece is hard as a rock. It won't seal. So uh, many people, you know, I've noticed over the years will do anything uh, to avoid doing the job correctly. And then they typically will bring, blame the air suspension system. Um, you know, that's, that's the fault. But the fault is, the thing is 60 years old now, we're pretty darn close to 60 years old, and you have to rebuild the whole thing if you want it to work. And, uh, and it does work, and it can be made to work very reliably. But if you try to cut corners, that's where the problems come in. So, uh, I've seen everything from plumbing fittings with pipe threads where they damage all the the fittings on the valves, and I've seen such messes uh, over the years, it's just hard to believe. Uh, I've seen guys use adapter fittings, to try to use plastic airlines, and you know, it's just like off the shelf airlines from like uh, air shocks and things like that. It's just, this doesn't take into account why the lines are made the way they are. They're made with this one piece construction, meaning the end is formed, it's not a separate piece because it, uh, it, narrow, it, it reduces the amount of leak points in the system. So if you're adding fittings and adding you know, plastic lines to fittings to, to other fittings and you're you know, stacking fittings and things, that's, you know, that's just asking for trouble. Um, you know, so uh, you know, if you want to do the right, if you want to do the job right the first time, this is what you need. You know, it will avoid a lot of aggravation, wasted time and guesswork. And uh, this, the new lines are the only way to go. I mean, so remember when working on uh, 57 through 60 Cadillac air suspension, masterminding, we've been helping people uh, fly low for 30 years now. And uh, air suspensions that work are a possibility and we can help you do it. All right, thanks for your interest in our products and we'll see you next time.